What's going on everybody? Thank you for watching. Today we are back with one of my all-time favorites the 12 gauge shotgun. But this one's gonna be a little bit different because today we're testing less lethal shotgun shells. So I have not had these out in quite a while and they're always a lot of fun. And I actually have a couple that I've never shot before. So let's load them up and see what they can do. Now to kick this one off, we are gonna start with the drywall test. A lot of these less lethal shotgun shells are advertised as home defense loads and drywall is a good first test because it's not too tough to get through, but it is kind of a hard surface. So let's see what they do. Hopefully they don't bounce back at us. We're gonna start with the Benelli Supernova and we will go back and forth between this and the Mossberg Shockwave throughout the video. And I'm gonna try to go in order from what I think is the weakest to the most powerful and see if any of these less lethal shotgun loads can blow through that drywall. But really quick before we get started guys, I wanna take a minute to thank Gunspot for sponsoring today's video. So as you all know, making videos for the channel, I'm always looking for stuff you just don't see at local shops and Gunspot.com has helped me numerous times because it's great for finding exactly what you want, even if it's unusual, which is usually what I'm looking for. Gunspot.com is essentially an online listing and auction site for both new and used pew pews, accessories, and more. They have great deals and buyers never have to pay out of state sales tax or any hidden fees like you do on some other auction sites. As you all know, companies like Gunspot really help to support the channel and assist us in making the coolest videos possible, which I'm obviously very grateful for. So again, a big thank you to Gunspot.com for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate the support. Let's go ahead and start with the Fire Ants. This is a real law enforcement less lethal load and it's basically just double lot buckshot and rubber balls, so. Get ready for the ricochets. I'm sure we're gonna get some. <laughs> so those put dents in the front of the drywall but they did not go through and by the way there are little holes on the bottom from the slingshot video that we did earlier this week so next up let's try the triple threat this is three 68 caliber balls so should pack a little bit more of a punch oh yeah <laughs> or a lot more of a punch Well, all three of those blew right through and they actually kept a tight little pattern on that drywall. So if you're using that one for home defense, don't miss your target because it will blow through the wall. Next up, we have the Lightfield Home Defender HV Star. And this is like an orange little squeegee looking thing. If I remember correctly, some of the Lightfield loads are actually more powerful than the law enforcement loads. So let's see what this one does. Wow. <laughs> a lot more powerful. So I'm not wearing Ear Pro, at least not yet, because I want to hear how loud some of these are, and that was at least twice as loud as the first two that we shot. So pretty powerful. Next up, let's try a 12 gauge bean bag. I've had these for a really long time, and I'm curious to see how powerful they are. <laughs> Not very loud, but it easily went right through. So far with every one of these, when I eject the spent shell casing, I'm getting a ton of unburnt powder thrown in my face, which is something I'm not used to. Next up, we have another law enforcement load and I forget what this one's called, but it's essentially a rubber slug. And hopefully you can see in there because it's the coolest looking slug I've ever seen. It looks like a little missile with fins on it and everything, so. It looks powerful. Let's see how it shoots. It went through, but it did not feel as powerful as some of the others. Next, we have the Lightfield Extended Range Rubber Slug. So they advertise this one as wildlife control and home defense. And if I remember correctly, this is one of the most powerful ones we have, so. Let's see. Yeah. This is kind of funny because a lot of these are rubber, they're just laying on the ground still intact. So there's our HV star. I see one of our big 68 caliber balls. We've got our bean bag right here. It looks like it's still intact. It did not break open. And here is our little missile. Look how cool 
that rubber slug is. But obviously, as you can see, all of those except the fire ants blew right through this drywall, no problem. But I actually have one more that's probably cooler than any of these. All right, for this one, I put a piece of plywood in front of the drywall because next up, we have a Fiocchi law enforcement door breaching slug. Now, I've never shot one of these, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be less lethal, but they are designed to be shot at point blank range. So let's do that. That was loud. <laughs> and by the way, door breaching slugs are frangible, which is why they're safe to shoot at such close range. But obviously that one just blew right through the plywood and the drywall with no resistance. And I can actually see on the railroad ties here where it came through and hit the backstop. I assume it exploded on impact because I cannot find any of the pieces. And those will probably not be considered less lethal, but I wanted to try them anyway because they looked awesome. And it was. A little loud though. So there's obviously a million ways that we could compare these shotgun shells, but I think clay is the one that I wanna go with. It's something different and it can show you very minor differences in bullet performance. So we have five of these five pound blocks lined up on the table and this is Plastilina non-hardening modeling clay. So let me get these unwrapped and we'll see which one of our less lethal shotgun loads will penetrate the furthest. And we'll go ahead and start with the 12 gauge bean bag. This is the one that I feel like probably has the lowest chance of actually making it into that clay. It is really heavy and powerful, but it's also big and soft. That's what she said. I was gonna use the shockwave, but I like the sight so much more on this one. We'll just go ahead and use the Benelli. It went in, I'm surprised. And there it is. Unfortunately, that block fell off the table and got sand all over it, but the bean bag actually did put a pretty good crater in there. I would say it's about flush with the surface and it did not go through or really even put a bulge on the back, but it did stick. Let's go ahead and try our little law enforcement missile slug. I think these might be called the javelin. For some reason, that's kind of coming back to me and I'm really nervous about this one bouncing back. So stay tuned because you might see something funny. Let's do it. About the same. And you can see right there where the javelin went into that clay and it actually looks like it might have penetrated a little bit more than the bean bag. And there actually is a slight bulge on the back of this one. So not as big of a crater, obviously, but it did get more penetration. Next up, let's try the triple threat. Other than the blue rubber slug, this is probably the most impressive on the drywall test. So let's see what it does to the clay. Oh yeah. And by the way, after the last one, I swapped the front block with the back block so we could have a fresh one up front. And a couple of those rubber balls fell off and landed in the sand, but one of them is actually still in there. And I would say that is easily the most impressive so far. It's got the most penetration and it has the biggest bulge on the back side of the clay. Hopefully you guys can see that, but the triple threat is definitely in the lead. I really want one of these to at least blow all the way through one clay block. I'm hoping the blue rubber slug will come in and save the day. All right, well, after seeing those, I don't think the HV star or any of the others really will do much better. So we're gonna skip straight to the one that I believe to be the most powerful and hopefully we can make it all the way through one of those blocks. So this is the Lightfield Home Defender blue rubber slug and every time i've shot these i just feel like they're a step above the other less lethal loads so wish me luck come on blue rubber slug i'm rooting for you wow dude i don't know if you guys saw that there was a huge fireball either out of the muzzle or maybe some unburnt gunpowder hit the clay i'm not really sure but either way that was awesome. <laughs> so after watching the slow-mo, it was like a full second after I shot the slug, the end of my barrel caught on fire, which is probably why it looks so big from my point of view. But the blue rubber slug is definitely in the lead by a lot. So you can see the impact 
and I would say it probably has the biggest wound cavity as well. And you know, the projectile's not any bigger than the others, it just hit with more energy and did more damage. And it blew straight through that first clay block. And there's our slug right there. You can see where it actually hit the second clay block. So when you compare this to the others, it is easily the most powerful. And the box says these are going about 600 feet per second, which is pretty dang fast for a less lethal load. If I had to pick one of these to get shot with, the blue slug would definitely be in last place. Well, we brought out the door breaching slug, so we might as well go ahead and try one on the clay. I suspect it will probably blow through all five, but I really don't know how these things perform, especially when you're not at point blank range. So let's see wow <laughs> i tell you what it's even louder when the muzzle is not pressed right up against something like it was when i took the first shot that was extremely loud And as I'm sure you could see in the slow-mo footage, the first two blocks of clay got completely split in half and blown off the table. And our door breaching slug did stop before it went into that third block of clay. Now I assume, yeah, so this is just the sleeve or whatever that was holding the actual slug because that thing is almost weightless. And if you look at this piece of clay, there appears to be a ton of little metal fragments. So I assume it basically exploded in that second block and it did not go into the third one. That hole is from the triple threat and surprisingly, it only went through two blocks of clay. However, they are designed to break apart, so it did its job perfectly. And as I'm sure you could see in the video, that thing packed so much more force and so much more energy than any of the less lethal loads that we shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, door breachers are not less lethal, just for the record. All right, guys, there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Shotguns are easily one of my favorite guns to shoot, and this video perfectly demonstrates why. Literally anything you can fit in a 12 gauge shotgun shell it will fire and less lethal loads are always a lot of fun. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. And as always hit that like button for me, guys, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.